All right, we're back. We're still on page one of notes 15. We're going to be talking about uh, trig substitution. So this is a weird name because we haven't seen any trig yet, really, except this arc sign that showed up uh, in this problem. And we're trying to deal with uh, things that have radicals, but it's going to be radicals of a very specific form, specifically things that kind of look like this, or I guess things that kind of look like this. We could probably do this method we're going to learn on this integral. It's just like, why would you do it? So what do we do with something like this? Well, we look at it and we basically say that looks like having done a lot of trig in our lives. It looks like kind of a leg of a right triangle from some perspective where the hypotenuse is maybe two and one side is X, right? That would be the third side. That's basically what we do. We look at all of these kinds of radicals, radical A squared minus X squared, radical X squared plus A squared. So this would be the hypotenuse radical uh, x squared minus a squared. Look at all of them as if they are a leg or hypotenuse of a right triangle and draw your triangle. Once you draw your triangle, you can come up with some trig things. So here are kind of the basic ideas, right? So if we have this triangle where we have an angle theta, um, we have a side a and side x. So you'll notice in each of these triangles, by the way, x is either kind of like the vertical side or the hypotenuse. I recommend that. It actually kind of doesn't matter except for the hypotenuse one, um, but it's like an issue of do you want sines and cosines or do you want secants and cosecants in your problem? That's, that's the choice you're making. Um, so if we look at this, tangent is just gonna be opposite over adjacent, so it's x over a, or x is equal to a times tangent of theta. That's gonna be important. And then secant is one over cosine, but for that we need this hypotenuse, which is x squared plus a squared or a squared plus x squared. Um, so this will be the square root of x squared plus a squared over a. So generally speaking, when you do this, you do not want to choose a ratio that's going to have x in the numerator and the denominator. So those are the choices that we've made, right? Like, uh, yes, sine is fine, but it's x over this, and that's kind of a disaster. Um, so that's why we're sort of choosing what we choose. And you'll see that's kind of consistent. So here I have the hypotenuse uh, is X that I'm putting the side here. And so this other thing is gonna be what we kind of solve for. So X is gonna go on the vertical or the hypotenuse. And then uh, you, you really kind of just don't wanna put X here, but it's fine if you do, you just get like a different, we call it like a dictionary of um, substitution terms you'll get a different dictionary if you do that. So tangent, I need to know this side, which is just gonna be the square root of uh, hypotenuse minus, so square root of x squared minus a squared. And then uh, this will be the square root of x squared minus a squared over a. And secant, in this case, is just x over a. That's pretty nice. And then here, we're missing this, which is square root of a squared minus x squared. So sine is, x over a, cosine is the square root of a squared minus x squared over a. And we're kind of good to go. Like these are the substitutions we're gonna make, but like don't memorize this, just know to draw a triangle. That's, that's the idea. So you go into your problem and you look at it and you're like, well, what do I have? Well, I kind of have like the, um, I, I think I have the extra leg, right? So I actually don't have a choice Okay, so I started out strong on that and then I like backed off. Let's see. Oof, nice. All right, we're gonna say theta goes here. Now this could only be, um, sorry, this could only be the leg of a right triangle, right? Because it's, it's something squared minus something squared. So the thing that's squared must be the hypotenuse squared. So that's two. And then where am I gonna put X? I'm gonna put X here. And I'll show you what happens, um, maybe. Let's see how this goes. Um, so we have this. Okay, so I need to be able to substitute for this, and I need to be able to substitute for dx. Well, look at your triangle. Come up with the ratios that do not involve uh, more than one x. So I could definitely say that the sine of theta is x over 2, which means that x is 2 sine of theta which also means if we keep going that dx is two cosine of theta d theta. And then uh, I also know that 
So the cosine would be this over this, and that's great. So cosine of theta is the square root of four minus x squared over two. So the square root of four minus x squared is gonna be two cosine of theta. All right, let's make our substitution. So we need to substitute for uh, the radical. And I guess let's, let's do some highlighting here. So the radical is gonna be this. So we're gonna sub in that. And then dx is gonna be this. So we'll substitute that. And then we've covered everything. So it's gonna be two cosine theta and then times two cosine theta d theta. We get four cosine squared. Then you gotta remember how to integrate uh, cosine squared. So you use the power reducing formula, right? So uh, cosine, cosine squared of theta. This should be a different color, but whatever. It's gonna be one plus cosine of two theta over two. So if I take, I'm gonna take out the one half that that gives me and make this two times the integral of one plus cosine of two theta. There's like not enough room for this problem. Shocking, shocking that any of my notes would not have enough room. So this will be two theta and then two one half plus sine of two theta plus C. Okay, but are we done? We're not done. So the reason that we're not done, uh, I wanted to highlight this. The reason we're not done is that the original problem didn't have thetas in it. It had uh, x's in it. So now we gotta go back. So how are we gonna do that? Well, uh, I know that the sine of theta is x over two, which means that theta is the inverse sine of x over two. So I'm gonna say that this can become two times the inverse sine of x over two. And then sine of two theta, so you gotta remember, you gotta remember like everything to do these problems, which is why I like them, but uh, I don't always like the same things as other people. Two sine theta, cosine theta, right? That's sine of two theta. So I'm gonna replace two, sine of two theta with two times the sine of theta, which is this, the cosine of theta, which is this over this. So that's gonna give me, what does that give me? That gives me two times x over two times law over two. So I think it's gonna be plus x root four minus x squared over two plus c. Okay, so I think that this is our final answer. Let us check this on the calculator. The calculator is, um, so the calculator might give you the same answer, but also there's a lot of ways that you can replace theta, right? So uh, there's, no, there's no rhyme or reason that I'm really aware of um, for it choosing one or the other. So let's just see, two arc sine x over two plus, so we got it right, and that's good for us, right? Obviously, um, what I'm saying is that Sometimes when you do these, like you, for whatever reason, may have chosen to replace theta, right? Because we need theta here. You could have chosen to replace theta with the inverse cosine of this thing, uh, which is totally fine. Uh, I guess there's not really other options for this though. Now you could have done the entire problem where you switched this and this, because there's nothing sacred about that. If you switch this and this, all of your sines become cosecants, all your cosines become secants, and now you're just dealing with secant and cosecant. People just generally don't really like that, and that's why I try to set them up so that uh, I end up with sines and cosines. If you find yourself ending up with secants and cosecants and you're trying to like work on a problem that way, or cotangents and cosecants or whatever, just go back, redraw your triangle, and switch the sides, and, and that'll fix your problem. But this is just first example. Uh, it looks like we're gonna do just like a lot more of them, and so uh, I'll be back in the next video and uh, we're gonna do that. So I will, uh, I'll see you there.